breakfast, lunch, and dinner all in the air fryer. Hey y'all, I'm Mandy and this is Mandy in the Making. Whether you are new to your air fryer or you've had it for a long time, I hope all three of these recipes are gonna be helpful. I know around this time of year, air fryers go on major sale. So if you're getting one and you're brand new and you're excited to give it a try, this is a way that you can use it for all three meals in one day. This first recipe is not really even a recipe that's gonna be new to you. It's just French toast sticks, but we're gonna do them in the air fryer. Did you know you could do that? Let me show you. My store was out of Texas toast, which is really thickly, thickly sliced bread, but they did have this, so we just went with it. I do love brioche style bread. Okay, we're gonna get started in this bowl. I'm going to crack three eggs. I'm also gonna add in just a little bit of milk. This is not quite a fourth a cup maybe a half a teaspoon of cinnamon just eyeballing this and then i've got about two two and a half tablespoons of melted butter let's whisk all of that together oh i almost forgot we need brown sugar maybe a tablespoon and a half of brown sugar now let's whisk it together okay let's set this to the side i've got four slices of this thick bread here because this is kind of oddly shaped i think i'm gonna go no, I'm still gonna go this way, I think. They're just not gonna be the prettiest, but really, does that even matter? So now we're just going to dip the, the bread directly into our egg mixture here, and then it's gonna go in a single layer in our air fryer. I am gonna spray my air fryer with a little bit of, I think this is grapeseed oil that I've put in here. So in my air fryer, I can fit four across. You don't want them touching. They don't have to have a ton of room. So I think it's just gonna take two batches for me to do. So let's put these in our air fryer. We're gonna turn the heat to about 380. And we need to do these for about seven minutes. While I'm working on French toast sticks, Stephen is over here doing the bacon for us and then we're gonna have some eggs too, right? Yes. So we're having a proper breakfast. Okay, our timer just went off. They got a little more golden brown than I wanted them to. <laughs> but that's okay, they're not burnt by any means. So let's remove these out and top them with some powdered sugar. So this time, instead of seven minutes, we're gonna do six minutes at 380. Okay, I think the trick for my air fryer at least, and for this bread, because it's not quite as thick as Texas toast, is to do it at 380 for six minutes. It didn't get quite as brown as the others, but it looks divine. Let's get into this French toast here. I mean, it's just your classic French toast, but it's in the air fryer. Who knew you could do French toast in the air fryer. I don't know. We're gonna try this out. He's gonna let us know. Oh yeah, cinnamon coming through mm -hmm. now. And some egg flavor. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, this is very much like... Just French regular toast. French toast. But mm. way easier because I'm not I'm not huge on making French toast just because it's usually really messy, but air right. fryer makes it a lot simpler. Wow. I think it's cooked perfectly too. Yay. So you don't have like the the frying pan management yes, that you have to do. Yes, exactly. Yeah, okay. it's really cooked. Look, I mean, look how balanced it is on all the sides. I there. know. Well, excellent. Found my yeah. new favorite way to make French toast. Good job. Thanks. Little girl, you tell them you've been in the Christmas tree? Tell them. See, I've been chewing on the Christmas tree like a bad girl. Been making myself sick? Yeah. I'm trying my hardest to keep her out of the Christmas tree. It's very hard to do though. If you have a cat, you understand. Gracie, you want some bacon? <gasps> oh, that has to taste better than a Christmas tree. Yeah. <laughs> oh, get it, girl. Y'all, if you like French toast, this is the best way to make it. Steven was saying he likes how fluffy this stayed because you're not like mashing it down in a frying pan. I tend to not love French toast, just depending on where I'm getting it from, but a lot of times it's soggy. And that's just not, mm, mm This is perfection. It is crispy on the outside, it's soft on the inside, and it was almost zero mess. So highly, highly recommend making your French toast just like this. <laughs> Peanut gallery. <laughs> uh. 
Okay, you ready? I'm your peanut. <laughs> you saw me. I got my glasses on and I still go. <laughs> We're opposite. You have, you have to get it closer. Like, yeah, the closer it gets, I cannot see. Do you want to read it in your announcer voice? Uh, no. Okay. Dang. So I thought it would be fun to share some of the comments that I get from you guys on different videos. So my latest video before this one was the brownie mix video. If you missed it, I will link it. But we had some really great comments on that video and I thought I would read a few and respond to them here. Here's one from Carrie Sesum. Is that how you say that? Or Sesum? Sesum? Is it Sesum? Carrie Sesum? We'll go with Sesum. Quick tip, when you get a shell piece, use the big shell to get it out, almost acts as a magnet. Hope that helps next time. Have a blessed and happy Thanksgiving. What she was it. talking about was I was cracking the eggs and a little piece of the shell got in there and I was really struggling to get it out. Oh, and, and the shell too. Make sure you get the shell in there because that really, you know, adds a good crunch. <laughs> Gosh. Why is it so difficult to get the shell out? Okay, there we go. And she and others mentioned that this tip really works to take the larger shell and it acts like a magnet and grabs it out. I haven't had to try it yet, but I'm assuming since I heard from a lot of y'all that that's what you do, that's what I'm gonna do from now on. Okay, it is lunchtime now, and for a quick and easy lunch, I'm gonna be making little mini pizzas in the air fryer. So your toppings are totally personal. So I'm doing the mini pepperonis since these are mini pizzas. And we're just gonna do a little bit of this sausage as well. Maybe maybe half of this pound of sausage. I'm gonna go ahead and brown that up on the stove. I'm gonna be using this pizza crust. If you can't find pizza crust, and I think I've heard too that they have many pizza crusts now by Pillsbury, I'm not sure. But if you can't find that, you could always just roll out biscuit dough. It may just take a little bit longer to cook. And let's just see how many mini pizzas we can get out of this one crust. We're just gonna make these a little extra large. Okay, we're gonna go with six. Very uneven pizzas. <laughs> this is how you know Mandy's been here. When things are a little wonky. This ain't Food Network. This is Mandy in the kitchen making a mess. Okay, so I'm cooking up this sausage. It was mild sausage, that's all my grocery store had. So I did add just a little bit of Italian seasoning and I also added some black pepper just to give it a little more flavor. Honestly, I wanted hot sausage for today, but they didn't have anything but mild. So that's what I had to go with. This is almost done cooking, and then I'm just gonna drain it and we will assemble our pizzas. Okay, so we have cooked our sausage. Now let's go in with some marinara sauce. If you have pizza sauce, that works too. I didn't have any. We're gonna go with a larger one first, which is probably gonna be hard to maneuver now that I think about it. Yeah, so I'm doing the trial and error for you. This may be an epic fail on these larger ones. Let's add some sausage and a few of our mini pepperonis. These are so cute. You could definitely just use regular pepperoni, but I just saw these at the grocery store and I was like, well, these are mini pizzas, so why not? If you can get your hands on this mozzarella cheese, I highly recommend it. It does melt a whole lot easier. Test subject number one is complete. Now to pick this thing up and get it in the air fryer. First, we're gonna spray the bottom of our air fryer with our oil again. I grabbed my spurtle. I figure that's gonna help me transfer this pretty easily, I hope. We're about to find out, aren't we? Oh, this could be epic failure. Hmm. No, that's not gonna work. We're just gonna, we're gonna go really quickly. <laughs> Y'all, this is so bad. Don't do as I do. Should I just cut it in half? That's what I'm gonna do. What I gotta do. There we go. We did it. It ain't pretty, but that's okay. So this is a learning curve. Oh, you don't, you're not even seeing it. I'm sorry, let me show it to you. This is a learning curve for sure. I'm gonna recommend that maybe you put it in here first and then top them. It just makes it easier to transfer. Let's put this in the air fryer. Okay, we're gonna go temperature 400. Let's try four minutes and check on it. Nothing in my hands. Nothing, ma'am. Our timer just went off. Oh my stars, can y'all see that? Okay, well, that looks like a huge hit. Let me take them out. We're gonna put them on this wire rack over here while I do the rest of them. 
oh my gosh, that looks so good. I may do just a little bit longer on the next one. I feel like, I mean, it feels pretty done. We're gonna let them cool for a minute and I'm gonna test it before I put another batch in because I just wanna make sure that the dough is completely done on the inside. I have a taste tester that's about to arrive in just a second. I'm letting these cool the rest of the way. They smell so good. Let's see if we can see the bottom of them. They look like they're done. My main squeeze Ooh, right there. Oh, look at them. <laughs> oh man, look now, at one that. One of them is mine and one of them is yours. Okay. Just a heads up, I'm gonna make more, but. Just one? Yeah, just one for now. Okay, which one can I have? You can have that one. We gotta make sure that the crust is done enough. So okay, it's, it's a little soft. It is a little soft. A little soft. But it's not like it's supposed to be super hard, I don't think, so. Done. <laughs> That's good. Mmm. <laughs> that is really, really, really good. The crust is done. It's not doughy. Mm -mm. It's not super hard. Like I'm looking in here right now. It's not doughy. It's, it's not doughy all at all. It is cooked. Yeah. It's not super hard crust like a normal pizza would right. be. What sauce is that? Rayos. Rayos. Uh, Rayos, man. Oh, I done dropped it. <laughs> I done dropped it. Yeah. Ten second rule. <laughs> oh. Steven, no you didn't. How are you gonna say ten seconds? It's five seconds. Is it the three second rule, five second rule, or is it ten second rule like he says? With me, you just never know. <laughs> Come in here tomorrow morning. Look what's on the floor. Steven, he Just does kidding. not do that. Gosh. You can't do nothing with me. No, you can't. All right, I'm gonna go make the rest of them. Steven just had a really great idea. We're gonna put the crust in there for about a minute and then we're gonna open it up and put all the toppings on and see if that will help it firm up on the bottom a little bit more. Johnny Johnson writes, uh, my husband and I just celebrated our 50th anniversary. When people ask how we made it, I tell them laughter. Y'all are so cute together and really know how to laugh together. Sometimes people take things way too serious. Amen to that. Congratulations, Johnny. That is amazing. 50 years of marriage. Yeah. We only hope and pray that we get to see 50 years together. That is mm -hmm. amazing. And I agree. People take things way too seriously. I try my hardest not to take myself too seriously. I struggle with that at times. You cannot take me seriously. <laughs> Take it with a grain of salt. Actually, take the salt and cut it in half and take right. the half. Right, right, okay. right. So, thank you so much for that. And I totally agree. The secret to a long and happy marriage is being able to laugh together or laugh at each other. <laughs> right. Okay, now that our pizza crusts have been in for about a minute, it makes them a little more manageable. And you can remove them and top them and then put them back in. All right. It's going back in at 400 for four minutes. You could definitely just reach into the air fryer base with them still in the air fryer, but you've got to do that very, very carefully so that you don't burn yourself on the side of the air fryer. Your air fryer is very hot, so you don't want to possibly burn yourself. So the safer option and the recommended option would be to remove it like I've done now, top it, and then place it back in there. Moment of truth. First of all, they smell divine. They look divine. Let's see if the bottoms are just a little more done this time. Yes, they are. That's the trick. Cole, mm -hmm. believe me, you want one of these. Let me see. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mom. Do you hear Steven in there? Where's mom? Yeah. It's a little crispy, right? Little firmed it up a little bit there. Oh, boy. Oh, it's hot. It just came out the oven. I did good. <laughs> it was his idea. What's hard to believe is you just made a really good pizza in that thing. In the air fryer. My gosh. I know. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? Back when I first got my air fryer, the only thing I used it for was frozen chicken nuggets and frozen french fries. Mm. That was it. Because I was scared of it, I didn't know what to do. Dinner is gonna come together really quickly. Tonight, we are just making chicken and veggies in the air fryer. So I've just got two small chicken breasts here. I'm gonna cut them up into bite-sized pieces. And now I'm just gonna chop up this zucchini and this red bell pepper and this red onion. I didn't do the entire zucchini. That was a really large zucchini, so I did half of it. The whole bell pepper and then about a half of a large red onion. And then I have some baby bell mushrooms that are already sliced. 
Okay, so let's toss all of this together. I've got my chicken breast here. It's about a pound of chicken breast. We're gonna throw in all of our veggies as well as this entire container of the mushrooms. We really love mushrooms. I don't know about you guys, but we do. Let's mix up our seasonings. I've got some onion powder here. We're gonna use about a teaspoon of that, about a teaspoon of garlic powder. I've got chili powder. We're gonna do about a teaspoon of that, about a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. I've got some kosher salt here, so I'm gonna use a teaspoon of that. If you have regular table salt, just do about a half a teaspoon. And let's get some black pepper. We'll do about half a teaspoon of black pepper. Mix all of that together. Now, let's put a couple of tablespoons of olive oil in here. Mix it all around to make sure they get coated. You want everything coated in that olive oil. It'll help the seasoning stick to it as well. And let's toss everything in the seasoning. So I'm gonna do about half on top. Mix it around. And the other half. That's done. Let's go to the air fryer. So I'm going to spray the bottom. You can spray it with olive oil, whatever you have. And all of this is not going to go in at one time because that's a lot. So you want to do mostly a single layer on the bottom. This is going to probably take two batches for me. I probably could have done half the amount and been totally fine, but that's okay. We'll have leftovers for tomorrow for lunch. That'll be good. Okay, this is going in at 400 degrees for about 10 minutes. Might help if we do that. Okay, this one's from Laverne Jones. I love Laverne. Yeah. Hey, Laverne. Yeah, she's a long time subby. Yes. Yeah. She's um, given us a... The quiche, subby supper, the quiche that we loved so much. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Hi, Mandy. This video was so much fun to watch from start to finish. Tabby is so cute, and you guys are hilarious together. Stephen was in rare form. Loved your honeymoon story. The tablescape is beautiful. I could go on and on. Great recipes as usual. Thanks for sharing, and thanks for the newsletters. Yep. So if you aren't getting my newsletters already, you can just head over to mandyinthemaking.com. Scroll down until you see where it says to sign up for the newsletter. I try and send one out once a month. Every now and then you'll get a bonus one if I have something, some type of surprise to share with you. But um, I really enjoyed having Tabby, my friend Tabby, in that last video. Again, if you missed it, Y'all are missing out. That video, like she said, was fun from start to finish. We left the bloopers all throughout. Me and Steven shared another story from our honeymoon. It was just so much fun. We loved it. So if you haven't seen that, make sure you go watch that one next. Okay, our air fryer just finished. It smells really good, but I'm gonna check our chicken and make sure it's done. I think it is, but I have a phobia that it's not gonna be done. Oh, it's done. Yep. We're good. Is that chicken done in here? This chicken's done, baby. Oh, man, it's smelling good. Uh -huh. Whoa, look at that. You ready to eat? I'm thinking about sneaking a bite. No, watch out. Man, look at him. Uh -huh. What's that over there? It's extra. It's about to go in the in there. L-I-B. All right, we got to blow it off a little bit. Blow it off the proper way. Hold on, finger up. Oh, pinkies up. Hold Come on, on, ladies. How, how you do pink? Okay, there we go. Pinker up. Uh, pinker? <laughs> a pinky up. Yeah, I have a pinky up. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. That's delicious. The spicing and flavoring on that chicken, that is incredible. It is not bland it's at like all. Spicy, I don't know, some garlic maybe in there. The combination of the spices on there. And look how it like, they talking about coating. Like that is like some of the best coating you can get. That's really good. That's a really great healthy dinner. I love the mushrooms. Yes. I love mushrooms. Let me know below. Mushrooms, yay or nay. But yeah, it's like a, it almost reminds me of like a, a shish kebab with the peppers and onions and mushrooms and the meat. Yeah. 
but in a bowl with all the seasonings. Right. The way this tastes. It tastes just, like, yeah, it tastes like a kebab, like right off of the grill. Mm -hmm. good. But on the air fryer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna get our other batch in the air fryer because mm. I want more. And that's gonna do it. All three recipes are all three meals today, all in the air fryer. We did it. Home run on that for sure. Yeah.